What's up, everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and we're back with another free room for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. This one happens to be Kun Lun, and I probably said that wrong, but it is my favorite one of all of them, as it has the least amount of collectibles. So you can see we got one puzzle, we get one opportunity to freely, 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 and then, of course, there's only one mission, too. So find your way up to the snowy peak tops here, and go ahead and locate... Whoa, what's going on there? I don't know why... You know, his name's Iron Fist, not Brown Fist. Did you see what was going on there? It looked like he was scratching his bum, and all of a sudden it caught fire. So I don't know if he's just really quick, and the friction caused the fire, or if there's something else going on there. But hey, uh, we're going to go ahead and activate our computer terminal here and puke out the three collectibles. We also want to give a shout out to Warner Brothers for hooking us up with a copy of this game. As you guys know, they hooked us up and sent us a nice deluxe edition, which has been ever so sweet. And what do we got now? We've got those three collectibles. We're going to start things off with our first puzzle. Now, this one does require your utmost of expertise of platformer skills. That's right. We have to kind of do a lot of jumping around. And as it turns out, I start at the end of the journey here. And I so I'm at the finish line, and I got to get to the start. So I go backwards through it, and I'm not really sure what's going on, except for I'm the backwards man, the backwards man. Uh, platform backwards fast as I can. I am trying to talk to him. I thought, okay, maybe he'll... You know, sometimes you have to walk up close to somebody and it'll actually activate some sort of a speech. And it happens later when we get to the Stan Lee. Once we get into that cave over there, it actually activates a little sequence. We don't have to walk up and press an icon or anything. We just have to get within a certain vicinity. Now, that's kind of what's going on here, except for I'm on the wrong side of the journey here. So there are moving platforms up and down, and they spin around as well. But we have to use Doctor Strange or somebody with mind control to go ahead and, I guess, fool these guys in this dragon costume into making it all the way to the end. Now, truth be told... It took me probably 25 tries because I was just trying to rush through it. I wasn't really looking at it and trying to plan my jumps. I was just like, oh, it's up. I'm going to jump. Oh, I died. Oh, look at there. It's, it's spinning around. I'm going to let. Nope, that's wrong. And so I, I failed miserably. And I hope that is not the case for you. I hope you guys go ahead and get right on through. For me, uh, like I said, it was kind of a journey. You can see there was an edit right there. It was kind of a good edit, actually. And I know I gotta wait till this guy goes all the way over. Now you could risk the biscuit and jump out there and try to make it on one of those upsy downsies, but I I got the pretty smooth, solid path here, and it's all about timing, right? You just gotta kind of wait for those to come up, and then you jump out on this one, and then you wait, go down, and come back up, and then you go, and then you go to the end, and you could go all the way out there. Now if you hit those blue or purple like I don't know what those are, they're little dragons or dinosaurs, something like that. If you hit those, you actually get paid. Look at that! I jumped out and knocked it out. At least get you. A poiple stud, if nothing else. And we go ahead and we jump all the way to the finish line. Woohoo! That's right. So we're going to go ahead and listen to the one of the longest winning ceremony announcements ever. Well, in a Lego game, anyways. And once we get all the way through, she's going to reward us with that nice, shiny goo brick. I guess it's not so long. However, we find ourselves on the other pad at the starting line instead of the finish line. So we got to find find our way over to the gold brick and collect it. Otherwise, we're going to have to do that all over again. That's the last thing I want to happen to you guys is, you know, I struggle with this, so I'm assuming that, you know, a handful of you are going to get through it with no problem. Well, a few of you are also going to have some issues just like I did. So, that being said, hopefully it's easy peasy lemon squeezy and get that gold brick. All right. Next up, we're going to go ahead and take on a mission. That's right. It happens to be the one and only mission of the area. And it's way over here on the far right, kind of on the backside of Manhattan. And look at that. It's Hitman. That's right. Or Hit Monkey. Sorry. Hit Monkey. <laughs> Hitman. Whoops. Close. He kind of looks like the Hitman from the Hitman series. That would be interesting, too. I've never thought about that as a Lego game. It's pretty dark and lots of... Uh, Stuff going on there may not be for everyone. However, it might be an interesting series to incorporate into something else. Like, I wish Dimensions wasn't dead. Maybe they're going to come out and surprise us with Dimensions 2 or something. That would be amazing. And speaking of 2, we got we got two people talking here. Where'd Gwenpool come from? She just kind of popped up, and I guess she's trying to translate and tell us what's going on. As it turns out, once we get done and accept the mission... That's right, we're gonna go ahead and have to kick the dun 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 We got 30 seconds to go ahead and take out all 20 of these snowmen. So I recommend somebody with a pew pew. Look at me, I got Doctor Strange. 
Flying might help too, because if you're up in the sky and you're kind of, uh, you know, nothing's in your way. Because some of these pieces, you can see, like, watch. Some of these bricks get in my way from shooting the next one. At least I got I got around them. I was pretty quick to adapt to that. And look at that. Now the timer's still going. I got them all. But ooh, ah, ooh, 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 ee, ah, walla, walla, bing, bang. That's kind of what it seemed like, right? I mean, I don't know where he was really going with that. But uh, translation, trading card or character token is officially ours. So we'll go ahead and add that. And at some point, we'll go ahead and purchase him and maybe even play a little bit as him. Hit monkey. I can't imagine he is... Uh, that awesome, but you know, he's different. I'm sure he's got a nice little backstory. And speaking of backstory, we've got a little back cave here with uh, a story inside of it. Turns out Stan is upside down. Look at that. And we've got his buddy who's also upside down. What is going down? Well, anyways, a little too much downage. We'll go ahead and skip that. And we need somebody who can get their melt on. And we're probably going to need somebody to bust open. Well, no, I thought for sure we'd need to bust open that refrigerator, but. Nope, we just need the heat ray to go ahead and melt Buddy down from the ceiling. Once we get him down, I think we get some more bricks from the ceiling as well. I, I will have to wait and see. Let's see. Hold on tight, buddy. Oh, no. So I guess we did need somebody to smash that down. Smash. We'll go ahead and build those bricks into a double grapple panel up there. Ooh, some studs. Got to get them all. We'll go ahead and switch on over to Spider-Man as he can do the old double grapplage just fine. And what do we got inside here? Oh, it's his buddy. It's buddy number two. So it turns out there's three people that need our help inside this cave. And in the end, they all lead to that Stan Lee or freely, freely, freely. Look at that. We got some buildable bricks to turn into one of those roller pads. And now we need to melt this spot here, too. What do we got? Is it food or is it buddy? No, it's more food. All right. We got some buildable bricks, too. We'll take them. Turns out it's part of a torquey. That's right. We'll go ahead and let's see here. I don't know what's going on here. We're bringing in some legendary culinary cruise. What? Who was this? I forgot his name. Was it Iron Pan? I think that's what his name is. Iron Pan is what they got. It was some funny wordplay, whatever it was. I missed it. I should have been paying better attention. All right, grab that bluesy and switch on over to Groot. And go ahead and get your roly-poly on and spin this turkey all the way around. That's right. It's about to be Tryptophan City. Once we get that all cooked, we'll probably chomp it down, right? If you don't know what tryptophan is, it's the stuff in the turkey that makes you sleepy. If you've ever had a nice Thanksgiving meal or maybe you just had turkey at some other time and it made you sleepy, well, guess what? There's actually something in it that has that effect on people. So, hey, that was nice. I thought it was going to take forever to cook that turkey all the way through, but it kind of cooked rather quickly. And, in fact, it got so going that we have to put it out so switch on over to captain or somebody with the shield and stamp out that fire and guess what now we just got to ride the turkey no psych what do we got to do we got to uh switch to somebody with telekinesis yeah i believe so no that's not right either what do we got to do i think we got oh we're just waiting it's just the waiting game okay fair enough look at that we are officially good to go we freely 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 and of course the league we're gonna wait for it we're gonna get our goop oh look at that, all them studs hopefully you got your hand sanitizer hand sanitizer oh that's right that's a double whammy there all right that's gonna actually take us away we're gonna go ahead and take a quick peek at the map and make sure we got everything but as you already know there were only three collectibles scattered throughout so that made it easy so that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for lego marvel superheroes 2 con lun free roam hopefully you guys found this video awesome as it was the shortest one out of all of our free roam videos and the rumor is is that man thing swamps also pretty short so hopefully that'll be the case check us out on social media if you haven't already seen it check out the thumb you must see as for me that's gonna do it as always until next time